Uh, a build is just just a version of the game. It's does pretty much the same thing as what we release, but this particular build is going to be just the the daily uh, the daily changes. So it's it's going to be a little bit ahead of, of what's released. Our playtesters are about to start their um, their daily tests, so I'm going to make a new build of the game, and I'm going to push that to them so that they'll be working with all the latest changes that we made today. So to make the build, I'm going to run some processes on our server, and the server is just a machine that's sitting in the closet. The only thing it does is pretty much make these builds. Um, so I use VNC to connect to it, and then to make the build, I just have some... Um, some batch files that I set up, uh, which will go through the process of making the build. And what that's going to do is, first thing it's doing here is getting all the latest source source code from Subversion. It'll pull all that down uh, from an off-site server onto this machine. Then it'll run Visual Studio and it'll compile all the code. Make, uh, make an executable, which is the, the latest and greatest. The build process will also grab all the art. It'll convert Photoshop files into DDS files that the game reads, or run our proprietary tools to take a lot of files, turn them into uh, the dot .model files that the game reads, all those kind of conversion processes that have to happen. And then the final step of the process is it will it'll take all these files that it built and it will assemble them into the right directory structure for playing the game. And it copies that all into a Dropbox folder. Dropbox is a, 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 a tool that allows you to basically have a, a folder which is shared across multiple machines uh, and it's automatically synchronized over the internet. So it'll copy those files into the Dropbox folder and then they'll all come down automatically onto all of our playtesters machines all over the world uh, through that synchronization service. So it takes maybe about 10 minutes for the whole thing to run. Uh, but it's all automated, so I can just, now that it's going, just close this. And when it's finished, what it'll actually do is, over here I have our chat channel where our playtesters uh, kind of talk about whatever's going on. And once it's finished, it will actually send a message to the chat channel and say there's a new build available. Right now, it looks like there's a heated discussion going on about NPR. Um, but hopefully they'll be organizing for that playtest pretty soon.